Listen, right. As you know, I uh, lent Carl part of his education, his historical education. I lent Carl um, Gladiator, the movie on DVD, which he watched on his PlayStation Two, and uh, Rasputin. Do you know last week when you gave me this? Did you know my result for history? No. That's weird, isn't it? Yep. Now, uh, right, okay, it's the film review. Carl, you just, just tell it from the heart, tell us what you thought about the film, what you thought the... Can I just ask, is this the first time you'd seen Gladiator? You'd never seen it before? No. Okay. And what were your thoughts? Okay. <laughs> the film review. <laughs> Gladiator. Um, it's alright. Noth nothing great. Uh, it's like, it's like an old, um, sort of an old version of Rocky done in the olden days, really. Right. A bloke fighting other people. Sure. Um, how, how sort of well known is the story? Do you reckon people know the, the basics? Well, just very, very quickly, just do right, the plot. Quickly. There's a guy called Max. Um, Maximus, yeah. Yeah. There's Caesar, and there's Caesar's kid, and uh, Max goes to war, sort of wins it, comes back. Uh, Caesar says, y you're good at what you do. Me s I wish my son was as good as you. Uh, so I want you to be in charge when I die. His kid finds out, a bit annoyed about it, kills his dad, because he doesn't want anyone to hear that he said that he wants him to be in charge. Yeah. So his kid gets in charge and thinks, I'll show you. You're not going to be a king. I am. You're going to be a slave or something. And then... Next thing you see is... My, going, sorry, can I just stop there? My only thought is the film's three hours long, so <laughs> maybe you should we, go through we, the whole plot. We, we, we've done the first ten minutes, but yeah. go on. So, yeah, he's a slave and then... Yeah, but then, that, that, that was an interesting bit that I thought, right? I mean, I was watching this with a girlfriend, she was already annoyed because she wanted to watch Friends on E4. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so... It was a good episode as well this week. Was it? Yeah. Don't tell her that. Okay. Right, so, um, <laughs> so, she, so she was annoyed and she said, come on then, put it on. <laughs> and I got it wrong straight away because it says on the back 149, so I thought that was an hour and 49 minutes. It turned out it was 149. No, I thought it was one hour 49. Yeah. But it was 149 minutes. Sure. So it it overran anyway. By 40 minutes. Yeah. So anyway, the interesting bit was where he was going across the desert on a horse, and I think to show you how long he'd been going across the desert on his horse, he's showing you a shot of the horse's knees and they were bleeding. <laughs> and I just wondered whether that's what horses do if they run for a long time. Can, do you know? I don't. Good. Right, so anyway, so it goes on. Get, it keeps going on like this. Um, he's a slave, and then he has a fight at the end with the Caesar's kid, and he kills him. And that, that's how it ended. Okay, good. What did you think of it? Just generally, what, what bits... What do you think was wrong with it? Right, well, I've read up on it, and there's already a, a fact that is wrong. Right. Max, no, Caesar's kid, he didn't actually kill his dad. His dad died of a natural death. Right, in real life, you in, mean? Yeah. Okay. And um, what's, what's Caesar's kid's name? C comedian or something? Comedian. I think it's comedian, yeah. Yeah. That's where the name comes from. The, the, when you, you know, a funny person is called a comedian. He didn't American. actually get killed in real life by Max. No. He died by his sister poisoning him and... Um, and he didn't. Da no, no. Are no. you saying? Are you saying that this is not a historical document? It's it's oh, it's wrong. All over the place. Yeah. Well, in terms week, of well, next week I'm giving you Braveheart, and that is actually true. That is actually, uh, that is that is factually no, accurate. I can't handle it. It is. It is. It was a little Listen, Australian fella that helped him out. Just for people who watched it, you know that the the um uh, the the guy Caesar's kid. Yeah. He died. Uh, his sister tried to poison him. That didn't work. Apparently, he was a gay fella. <laughs> And his boyfriend, who was a wrestler, strangled him. That's well, where did you story. get this information? On the internet. I thought I'd look it up to see how much of it I actually got right. Yes. <laughs> and that's what I read. Okay, so uh, out of ten? <sighs> Five. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's no good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get it out. And what, it's annoying the way it says, like, you know, this film's got to be seen at the cinema, because... I saw it at home, and I don't think I missed out on anything. Very good point. I think that's the, probably the point they're making. But John, you went to see a film this week, didn't you? Mm. What, what did you, you see? see? Um, the um, Monsters Inc. Oh, did yeah. you have a little argument? What was the argument about? Did you have an argument with your girlfriend or something? Cause about well, the history thing took over last weekend. To be honest, when you found out my results. 
<laughs> that was like the talking topic of most of the weekend. And, <laughs> why? What did she you say? Know, you brought it on yourself. You know, why didn't you take it serious? You know, was well, she annoyed or upset? Well, she just sort of said, "You can learn. Look, you, you learned Rasputin. Mm. You know, if only you did you've that done that. School, you've done Rasputin. You know I mean? She said you can do it if if you're told to. She said, you know, it's only because Ricky's told you to read the book that you're reading it. Mm. Does she, she think said, we're sort of like taskmasters? Does she think we bully well, you? Uh, nah, she knows it's just a laugh. Yeah. What did you did you tell your uh, parents about your? No, nope. no, never. Because they they never even questioned where my results were, so I don't want to tell them that. You know, I didn't get any. No. What? How did they do at school? I didn't have them back then, did they? Right. <laughs> uh, when was that, Carl? The, the middle, middle ages. ages. I don't know. I mean, like I say, back then it wasn't about getting results and that, was it? It was just about learning trades. Mm. I mean, my dad, right? He can like put windows in his house. Yeah. Do plumbing. He should. It's dark, isn't it? He's, he's done that, first of all. Right, so, so he can do what? He's got a multitude of different yeah, jobs. Yeah, he can do all sorts. Do you know what I mean? Mm. If there's a problem in my flat, I can call him up and say, you know, this isn't working, what should I do? Mm. And he'll say, like... Is that you know, I'm a brain surgeon? He'll yeah. say, I'll fix it. Sure. Uh, so what about Monsters, Inc.? What yeah. do you make of it? Um, it's all right. It's, it, it is a kid's film. It, it sort of annoys Is it? <laughs> okay. I was having, like... <laughs> what, what gave that away, do you think? <laughs> Was it the songs? Was it the animation? <laughs> yeah, the fluffy little <laughs> things that squiggled round on the screen for yeah. an hour and a half. It is annoying because like there's kids everywhere and kids don't watch films, do they? No. Do you know what I mean? They're messing around. I don't know why they make kids films. And you can't, to be honest, it's mental. You can't concentrate properly when mm. you've got kids, you know, Screaming, making noise chain. around you and that. Yeah. So I'd say, my little review, wait until it comes out on DVD. Okay. <laughs> what a great review that would <laughs> really? be! Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Film 2002. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan Ross going... Well, I don't want to give it away until it comes out on DVD. Yeah. Oh. I can do film stuff. I'm talking about films. Elephant Man. Love that. Let's Go on, then. Do a film review. Quickly. Right. Uh, right. Well, today on uh, film review, we're doing uh, classic films. Um, and today we're looking at uh, Elephant Man, John Merrick, one of his one of his better pieces of work. Um, it's a sad film. I, I, I've never really been able to watch it all the way through. <laughs> Sorry, uh, John Merrick's better piece of work was him being the Elephant Man, played by John Hurt. Yeah. Go on then. Um, sad film. Uh, when I was younger. Tell us a bit about it. What I is it about? It. Who's it's John about Merrick? A it's about yeah, a fella who's yeah, got a funny head. Right. Tell us this. And um, you know, he lives in. Uh, I think he lives in London, in like the about the 1930s or something like that. And he's being picked on all the time and stuff. Mm. And um, first time you watch it, you'll probably cry a bit. And then the second time you watch it, you're just sort of thinking, God, that would be bad. Sort of having a head like that being picked on all the time. Then the third time you watch it, you might think, you know, oh, uh, how does he get his jumper on? <laughs> uh, then, I don't know, probably bored of it the fourth time. <laughs> but, but it's well worth watching, so, uh, Elephant Man. Uh, Brilliant. Yeah, see it. Brilliant. I think if you want to get on TV, Carl, you'd be better as the subject <laughs> of maybe like an omnibus <laughs> documentary. <laughs> <Yeah>. Living with <laughs> Carl. <laughs> or maybe one of those uh, appeals in Comic Relief. We got people to send in uh, a little thing for you last week, didn't we? The film Freaks. A you, got a freak. few, you got a few sent in and you watched it, did you? Yeah. Now I should just point out that the film Freaks, uh, for those that don't know, was a movie that was released, I think, in the well, actually, it was delayed. It was originally made in about 1932, something like that, and then it was banned delayed. It was banned years. for many, for many, many years because it did, in actual fact, uh, feature, for want of a better phrase, real life freaks. Yeah. Um, bearded ladies being one of the more kind of familiar Man, there's ones. There's a guy and without there's arms and legs. Without arms, there's all sorts. And uh, it was actually quite. A, it's quite a tender film, isn't it? And actually portrays them as a kind of dysfunctional family. It's not. It's not exploitative in that sense. But uh, what do you make of it, Carl? Well, you're watching it for the freaks, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, I wish it does take a while to get onto it. What uh, do you mean? Well, straight away I was disappointed, right? Because at the start, like you put it in, it's like, oh, brilliant. Here we go, you know, I said to Suzanne, we'll watch this, we'll have a good night. Yeah. Have a and romantic uh, night. Yeah, that's it, have a birthday. You've got your gloves, now we're gonna watch some freaks. <laughs> so, uh, put it on and it starts off and it's like, you know, the following film, you think, ooh, it's like following films, rated 15, which means, you know, might contain scenes of violence, bad language and sex. Yeah. Mention nothing about pinheads. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I thought they missed a trick there. Yeah. <laughs> Right. So I thought, well, let's, oh, let's, let's keep on watching oh, it. And what no. exactly is a pinhead? Oh, if you've seen it, you'd know. Okay. Right, so, uh, not the best thing in it either. 
So I imagine that. <laughs> okay, so you're watching it. So sat there, I think all right, something comes on, and, and the little fella's on there. The little fella we were talking about, the pillow man. Right, is it, it is the best thing in it. Now, what's the pillow man again? Is a fella who years ago, uh, he, he's got no arms and legs. Right. He just torso. Just, just and rolls. A yeah. And uh, there's a scene where you see him sort of rolling <laughs> a cigarette up, just using his mouth, and yeah. it's like he lights it and stuff. And that's yeah. that's weird. And then uh, what else is on it? It's like stench of growth. And then there's a there's a little little fella on it who is fed up because he looks five, but he's actually thirty four. <laughs> right. Right. But there's a woman <laughs> who <laughs> is forty two and looked eight. So they both had the opposite thing. They were both really fed up. And I kind of thought that shows that you know you always want what someone else has got. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So in yeah. a way, there's a story there yeah. in that. No, you, they, you described the same there. No, 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 no. It was like no. They both. You, you just said they. They both looked young, but they are actually both older. No, no, no. This was like a little man. Yeah. Who, who was looked, thirty-five? Who was thir thirty-five? And looked eight. Yeah. And so did she. No, well, the other way around then. What? So she was an eight-year-old that looked thirty-five. Yeah. So, oh, maybe not then. Anyway, no. But that that wasn't that weird. I kind of thought it's a slow start and that. Yeah. And then uh, it's not a, it's not a difficult film to follow. No. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't really listening to what it's all about. I was just looking at what they had. And they had like a fella who's running about <laughs> what on just. They had like he was shopping. You know, uh, they had a fella with no legs and he's running about on his hands and right. sort of got about on a skateboard talking to someone about it. They said that's how E.T. was done. There's actually a, a little fella in E.T. Right. Who's just half of, um, sort of half a body. Is that true? I've no idea. I've never heard that Why before. Why haven't we heard that before? I've never heard that before. I don't think he would fit in E.T. Cause he's I got no- cause uh, where's the head? He's got no neck, E.T. It's a skinny little thing. There's- a human neck couldn't fit in that skinny little neck. Well, well, you sure, you sure it wasn't Kenny Baker up to his old tricks? What well. are you talking about, Carl? There's a fella with no legs in E.T. In E.T. they had two- two fellas, right? I think they had a little, um, a midget fella. Right. Who <laughs> did it. And then I think he was off sick, and they were like, "Oh, you know, what else were we gonna do?" Mate, do so, so they <laughs> saw a guy on a skateboard going by, and said, "Do you fancy some work?" <laughs> right. And uh, he's done it. I think someone told me. I mean, it might be wrong. exactly. Yeah, it might be wrong. He but, might be, mightn't he? <laughs> I mean, you've never been wrong before, so I don't know why you'd be wrong there. <laughs> what so, what's the worst been? thing in it? Now it's intriguing to me because here's a film called Freaks, featuring real life freaks, and you're sort of a bit nonplussed by it. Just because it wasn't, because it's built up. If you call a video freaks, you've got to make sure that there's some good stuff on there. Yeah. What were you disappointed about? Was it that? Because there was a few things on it, right? There was a woman who said she was half man, half woman, and it's like, well, you're not, are you? It was just like she had some makeup on. I thought, well, that's rubbish. And then there was a woman who could eat using her feet. That isn't that freaky. Do you know what I mean? If she's not hungry, she looks normal. <laughs> yeah. And that's when I was thinking. <laughs> I mean, I'm not being, not being, right, Steve, you know I'm not being funny. Oh, here we go. No, 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 but I'm, I'm just saying, if that woman wasn't eating and you were sat next to her in that film, yeah. I'd probably be sort of drawn to you more than her. I'm not, I, I know you hate me saying it, but there's no point sort of pretending. Do you know what I mean? Oi, Muttley, what are you get, what are you sniggering about? <laughs> that, that, that is, <laughs> what you you mean there were there were things in it that were less? What are you saying? I'm just saying. Play a record. No, Seriously, I'll slap you. I'm going to slap you live on air. Yeah, but you always go. I'm going to right, I'm slapping you live on air. Wow. Um. So freaks then. All in all, not not as not as amazing as you first hoped. It was it was built up too much. Do you know what really? I mean? Really? Like, is that, like is, that, some films. Is, is that my fault for getting you excited? Probably. I just can't believe it. I hand you this thing on a plate. Some I know, of your, but, you know. And I'm I'm not I'm not being out of order, Steve. I'm sure. just I'm just being honest. We've, sure. we've always said that about this show. We yeah, only talk yeah. about stuff, you know. Yeah. That yeah. you know, being honest and that. Yeah, no, sure. And I've I've always said the first time I saw you. Sure, no, no, you've always been honest, and I've always, always been honest with you. I've always said that you know you've got the uh, you've got the intelligence <laughs> and insight of a gnat. Yeah, but if I if I keep quiet, people don't know that. Sure. <laughs> All right, they incredibly, incredibly, they do, Carl, because you look stupid as well. Well, you know. Yeah. 
No, but Carl yeah. was being nice then. You, d you don't, you don't. I'm just saying, you're a good bloke, and now I've got to know you. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the, yeah, first no, time, no, yeah. the first time was weird when I saw yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. No, leave then, it. Don't just into it. Just to link it. No, right. no. I'm just, I'm just saying. Okay. The first time, yeah. it was weird, and that, and then weeks go by. Sure. And, you, okay. and the weird thing is, I kind of thought maybe he's not that odd looking. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, 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 yeah. And then you went to LA for three weeks. Sure. And when you came back, it was like the first time again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I just. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, stop it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, everyone, yeah, stop it now. No, but I, I just think I'm a little bit more consistent because I've always thought you were. I don't want this. Don't uh, argue. He was just okay. No, I just you know, I'm, right. you know what I mean. My opinion yeah, has no, never changed. I've no. always thought you're you're an no, idiot. No, no, it's just, that's just been all nice. Line. Let's look. Let's look. Peace. Shut up, fatso. <laughs> Peace, not war. He um, all, he's just such a stirrer, isn't he? <laughs> no, he I'm loves not. it. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think I didn't see you whispering behind the microphone about what to say to Carl. Look what I've just drawn, Carl, uh, subconsciously. Yeah. Let's see. I drew a picture of him, it's not gonna be on the website. It's not been on the website. No, it's gonna be. I drew a no. cartoon of him. No, not yours, I drew one of Carl. I drew yeah. one of Carl. Um, right, okay. Uh, what were we talking about? That was a So, yeah, no, the Freaks moment. thing is over and done with. It was <laughs> alright if you want to get it out on video. Sure, sure, um, sure. Um, you know, it's probably worth a look. Yeah. There's a couple of things on there that get you thinking more, you know, it's like uh, how their life is and stuff, do you know what I mean? Mm. How it's affected and like the little pillow man. Or the fella who's got half of his body missing. Yeah. You know, it's, it's stuff like that that you think, oh. But you, what's the, the, the one that was disappointed you said it was a half man, half woman? Yeah, I don't quite understand that one. Do you mean hermaphrodite or half, I can't remember it. Do you mean it was one sort of like, it had bits of both? It was just like, uh, Half, half a face done in makeup and long hair. Then on the other side, it had it, had it changed. I love the idea that you go to this circus and there's people in there that, that, have, that have been sort of persecuted all their life, and they think, well, maybe I can make some money. And then you boo them because they're not freakish enough. <laughs> I love the idea. They go, boo, you're not freakish enough. Boo. Oh, you've got bits of legs. Boo. Do you know what I mean?